Instagram. Now we're live on Instagram. And we'll make sure that is active. Then we'll get into what we're going to get into. All right. As y'all are coming in, though, over there on Facebook, you can shout yourselves out in the comments section if anybody's in there. And let me know where y'all are checking in from, your location. Instagram, now that we are live, shout yourselves out in the comments section. Let me know where y'all are checking in from, your geographical location. Then we're going to get into uh, this live and this topic that we need to talk about. Let me get my comment pinned here. Oh, what am I going to comment? I mean, what am I going to pin comments? I put my put my text number here so I can get the daily motivation. And that number I had that posted. All right, there we go. Again, as y'all come in, shout yourselves out in the comment section. We're going to get into the conversation as usual in a few seconds. I'm going to just let Instagram populate this a little bit, make sure they sent the message out to everybody who needs to get it. And then we're going to get into what we need to get into. Hope everybody has had a great start to some of you are going to be watching this on replay, but those of you who are watching it live, happy new month. I hope you all wrote your goals down for the month. If you do not write your goals down for this month or you're a person who has never written your goals down every month, I don't care what day it is. It might be the 15th of the month that you're watching this. It might be the 30th of the month that you're watching this. Write down your goals for every month. Every month you should write down goals. Every year write down goals. And then each week and each day. You know what you need to do. You just look at your goals and decide what's what's the next thing that you need to work on. What's going on? Uh, Darius checking in over there on IG. As y'all coming in again, shout to, tell me your location where you're checking in from. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Dre Baldwin. I'm a former nine-year pro athlete, author of 33 books, including The Third Day and Mirror Motivation and Work on Your Game, which you see right there, and Overseas Basketball Blueprint, which is right there. I'm not going to name all my books, but uh, I've done four TED Talks, created this whole brand called Work On Your Game, where I take all the mindsets and the strategies to help athletes get to the top 1% of that game. And I translate that stuff over to the business world to help people like yourselves perform at a higher level. That means you are serving your customers and clients the best you could possibly serve them, giving them more value than even what they had to pay you. You are doing it consistently so that you can make money over and over again. And the most important thing, most people any looking for anything involving professional development are looking for ways that they can make more money. I mean, most especially in a Western society, everybody's trying to make more money. And there's nothing wrong with that. As long as you're giving people more value, then it only makes sense that you make more money. So that's what we want to talk about here today. I'm going to tell you three things that your business should be doing every single day. These are daily business habits that all of you should be employing. I don't care what line of work that you are in, but this is especially important for those of you who are in the thought leadership space, those of you who run your own um, entities, those of you who run your own organizations, you are in charge Everything starts and ends with you. If you're one of those people, then what I'm about to talk about here today is specifically targeted at you. And you need to check yourself and make sure you are doing these things on a daily basis. So first of all, let's get clear on what a business person is. So anybody who I'm talking to knows that I'm talking to them. A business person is any person who is conducting business in any way, shape or form. And all business is, is the exchange of resources between people. If there's resources being exchanged, usually one of those resources being exchanged is money. So business is, for example, this morning, I went to the, the DMV because I had to get a new, they had those new licenses now where it has like some, I don't know, some kind of technology embedded in it that you need to have that you got to have it before like May of 2024, or maybe it's this year or something like that. And my license was expiring. So I had to go get the new license and you can't send anybody. You can't do it online. You have to actually go to the DMV. It actually wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought the experience, I thought it was going to be worse, but it was actually People act, there were actually pretty, I mean, by DMV standards, they were actually pretty friendly. And the process went smooth. It took long, but it went smooth. But anyway, I went there and I had to pay. It was $48 that I had to pay for the new license. That's the renewal fee is $48. That was a business exchange. So I had to give the state of Florida $48. And they gave me my renewed driver's license, which now is good for another eight years. So now I had to do that again for another eight years. That's business. That's the exchange. Because I gave them something, they gave me something. When I was on my way home, I stopped at Whole Foods and I bought some groceries. And I gave Whole Foods some money. It was like about like fifty dollars worth of groceries. Whole Foods gave me the groceries, which was some some spinach, some almond milk, some you know, some peanut butter, some apples, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. That's the exchange. So business is where usually one side is giving money and the other side is giving some kind of good or service all right that's what you're paying for if any of you go somewhere like a, a barber shop or a nail salon or you go get your hair done or um, i'm having an event this week 
and some people are flying in from out of town. I was talking to one of my uh, one of my university members who's going to be coming in from out of town tomorrow. She's getting on a flight now. Yes, the flight is part of it. The flight is kind of a service. It's not a thing. She's not going to have anything she can hold in her hand from having done it. But she gets the service of flying from point A where she was to point B, flying into Miami, and she's willing to pay for that. So she paid whatever she paid for the flight, and that flight. That's the money that she gives and exchange they give her to travel. All right. So everybody understands the concept here when I say a business person, business person has nothing to do with um, exactly how much business you're doing, any amount of business. It has nothing to do with exactly what your business is, because everybody in business needs to be doing these things. Listen, you can be doing an illegal business and the things that I'm about to share with you, you need to be doing every day if you want your business to keep running smoothly and you want it to run successfully. Everybody who's in business needs to be doing these things that I'm going to be talking about here today. It's just an exchange of resources. So I'm going to make this really simple for everybody and also let you know that everybody here is a business person in some way, because even if you have a job, I was walking, I was taking a walk with my son just before I did this, I posted it on my story and I walked past a, a uh, it was a business, a uh, storefront. And as I'm walking past the storefront, I was talking on my Instagram story and I could see it was a couple of women who were inside the store on the other side of the glass. I walked past, you could see me through the glass and I could see one of the women saw me and she saw that I was like talking on my phone and she tapped her coworker and then they both start watching me while I'm walking past talking on my phone and they both had a job. And the whole point I'm sharing with that is that they are business people as well. They're doing a different type of business, but it's still business because they are giving their time and energy and attention to the job and exchange. What do they get every two weeks? That job gives them a paycheck. So that's still business. So we're all in business in some way. And but I again, I'm targeting this specifically to the people who can control exactly how their business works. You're not being told what to do. You actually tell other people what to do or you tell yourself. Let's get into it. Point number one. We're talking again. Three business habits you need to be having every single day. Number one, most important, if you want to run a business, you must be doing this. You must be offering people a way to pay you money. And I want to let that one sink in. If you are running a business every single day, you need to be offering people a way to pay you money. Because if people aren't paying you money and you're not offering them ways to pay you money, then how can you be running a business? Every single day, there should be some way, somehow, someone who comes across your business sees a way that they can click a button, put in their credit card number, and pay money to you. Doesn't mean they're going to do it, but you need to be making them, you need to be making them an offer and, and showing them an opportunity to give you money on a daily basis. If you want to run a healthy business every day, there should be some way money gets made. Think of the most successful businesses out there. Does Apple allow people to pay them money every day? Absolutely. Apple has a website. On their website, you can go buy a phone right now. You don't have to talk to anybody. You don't got to shake anybody's hand. You don't have to make friends. You only have to get out of your bed from, from your phone, from your couch. You can give Apple money. How many people ordered something on Amazon today? All right. Or sold something on Amazon today? Every day, Amazon offers a way that money can be made. And it's not even, they only have to sell their own products. Apple sells their own products. Amazon sells everybody else's products. They got their own stuff, but they sell a lot of their own. They sell a lot of other people's products. They just take a cut out of every transaction. They are offering you a way to give them money. Google offers people a way to give them money by with their advertising platform. Facebook offers people a way. How many of you seen an advertisement on the Internet today? I mean, you've seen an ad on Facebook or Instagram today. You've seen at least one ad on Facebook or Instagram today. Almost everybody. And every time you see an ad on Instagram or Facebook, guess what? Facebook meta is making money. All right, that is a they're offering a way for people to give them money on a daily basis. If you are running a business, you need to be offering ways for people to make an exchange. You should always have something that somebody can buy. And again, it doesn't mean they're always going to buy it. And it doesn't mean your thing is always going to sell. But there needs to be something out there. And people need to know about it. So you got to remind them, hey, go to this website. You can buy my book. Go here. You can sign up for my course. Go here and you can get on a call with me. And on that call, you sell them on your coaching program or your high ticket mastermind or your next live event that's coming up, whatever it's going to be. But you need to be offering people a way to pay you money. This is literally the reason why you're in business All right, it's to offer people ways to give you money. Business is the exchange. You are not doing business until an exchange takes place. Everybody got that? Now, there will be times that people will come and you know, give you money without you even asking for it, but you shouldn't count on that. You need to be going out and intentionally and uh, consciously creating these exchanges. So that means you need to be doing outreach. 
You need to be intentional about your business. If And I talked about the three ways that you can market yourself in business. There's advertising, there's collaboration, and there's content. You need to be doing these things because these are ways to get, make sure that people know that you exist. So you need to continue to be letting people know that you exist. And when they know that you exist, now you have their attention. Now you make them offers and give them opportunities to give you money. If you're not doing that, then you are not running a business because you're not giving them a way to give you money. People can't give you money. How can you do business? Point number two, we're talking today about three business habits that you need to ingrain and make sure you are doing in your business every single day. Number two, you need to be setting yourself up for ways to make money tomorrow. So yes, do your thing to make money today. Make people offers and get the money today that you want to get in your business, but also you need to be setting up what we call tomorrow's dollar. All right, how are you going to make money tomorrow? So when you see how you made money today, made uh, $50 today, you made $100 today, you made 1000 you made 20000 you made 500000 how are you going to make money tomorrow? A business acquaintance of mine told me that he always makes sure that he does something every day, at least one thing, to set up tomorrow's money. Even if he spends the whole day doing some today stuff. Let's say he sold 3,000 tickets to a, a live event, and now he spent the whole day doing his live event. He still makes sure he does at least one thing that day, even if he has to do it at the end of the night. He still makes sure he does at least one thing that day to set himself up for the next opportunity to make money, which is going to be happening tomorrow. Because, listen, it's great if you made a whole lot of money today, but tomorrow, the money you made yesterday is over. Now, how can you make some more money? How can you do it again? And this is why I told you. We help people perform. The second point, consistency. So you're making more money. That second point is consistency, which means can you replicate your success? Can you come up with a way to make money today? And then can you do it over and over again so that your money is not just a, a one-time thing? You don't want to make money one time. You want to make money over and over and over again. So what are you doing to set up the next hour? So no matter how much you made today, you need to be doing something that's getting you ready for uh, making the money tomorrow. All right, if you spend all of your todays focusing on today, eventually you're going to get to a tomorrow where you have to a tomorrow rather where you have nothing set up and now you got to start from zero and you're starting from a state of stagnation and it's hard to work from stagnation. Now, the law of inertia makes it hard. Now, it's hard to start from a, a stationary point. It's easier to keep something moving that's already moving than it is to get something moving that's not moving at all. So look at your business the exact same way. You want to have a continual process of whatever you're doing to get more people to know about you. When I was trying to get on in basketball, this is what I was doing, continually trying to figure out, all right, what's the next opportunity? What's the next job? If I had a job, I was trying to get the next job. If I didn't have a job, I was continually putting myself out there, putting my name and my ideas and my, uh, my resume out there so that someone who could give me money could eventually find me. But I had to be findable. I had to be visible. I had to be out there. I had to be outside and active so that tomorrow's dollar could see me. Again, just because you're putting yourself out there, it doesn't mean you want to make money, but you at least have to be trying. All right. So you, what are you doing every day that is keeping you in front of somebody, somebody who might tomorrow decide to open up their wallet or their, you know, their credit card or their bank account and give you money? What are you doing today that's going to set that up for tomorrow? That's the second point. Second thing you need to be doing every day. So the first thing is making sure you give people opportunities to give you money. Second thing is making sure you're setting up tomorrow's opportunity to get money. And the third thing you got to be doing in your business, this one is uh, less technical. This one is more on a, the mindset and growth side. Third thing, we're talking three business habits you need to have every day. Number three is you need to be meeting resistance and working your way through and past that resistance. Now, what, is, what exactly do I mean by this? This is where your professional and personal growth comes from. This is especially important for you entrepreneurs and you business owners. And any of you who's in a leadership position, Every day you need to be looking at where the resistance exists and figuring out a way to work past it and to get through it. Why? Because this is how you grow as a person. Why does that matter? Because if you're a business owner, the ceiling on how much your business can grow is how much you personally grow. So if you are not growing as a person, your business will not grow. Your business will only grow as far as you have grown. Your business will only expand as much as you have expanded. And if your business ever outgrows you or expands past you, What's going to happen is your business will shrink back until it gets to the level that you're at. You cannot stay. You won't stay at a level that is outside of the way that you consistently see yourself. So this is why working on yourself matters just as much as working on your business. Uh, some of you have heard that saying before. I think it was Jim Rohn was one of the first people I heard say that you should work on yourself just as much, if not more, than you work on your job. And even if you own a business, owning the business is your job. You need to be working on yourself. This is why 
I always tell people that the foundation of what we do here. I mean, it's four pieces, mindset, strategy, systems, and execution. <clears throat> mindset is first for a reason. It's first because that's the foundation. If your mindset is weak, that means you are, there's only so far that you can grow as a person. There's only so much we can do with that. There's only so much I can do to work with a person who is not growing personally, because if we were to work on your business and get your business to a bigger space, you are still the one in charge. So that's the problem. You can't run a business that is bigger than you have personally grown. That's why you got to make sure you grow. Then the business will follow your growth. But if you're not growing, the business ain't growing. That's just the way it works. So every day you need to be finding a, some resistance, some form of resistance and figuring out to, a way to work through it and get better. So you think about a little baby every day. The baby's getting a little bit bigger, a little bit stronger, a little bit smarter. They're learning a little bit more about the world. Then they learn to sit up and they learn to talk and they learn to walk. They learn to crawl. Then they know that every day they're learning something new and they're advancing in some way. This is because babies are going through. They're not even there yet, but they are constantly growing involuntarily. They only had to do it on purpose. We all usually grow up until about the age of somewhere between 18 and 21. It's called puberty. That's just your natural growth as a human being. But all of you who's over the age of 21, puberty is over, which means the only growth that you are going to have is the growth that you have on purpose, which means you got to be intentional and conscious about the way that you grow, which means you got you to go out and seek out ways to grow. You're not just going to grow just because you're there. So what ways are you seeking out? This is a question for everybody. Rhetorical question from me to you, but not rhetorical from you to you. What ways are you actively seeking out to grow yourself? How many books have you read so far this year? How many courses have you signed up for? How many events are you going to? What programs are you in? What coaches do you have? Are you doing these things so that you are continually growing? Because all of those things, if they're good, they will push you to grow in some way. They're going to push you or influence you to do something that pushes you outside of your normal comfort zone, which is where all the growth is at. All the growth is right outside of your comfort zone. But if you are not stepping outside of your comfort zone or even trying to step outside of your comfort zone, then you cannot grow. By, by default, you can't grow because you're not giving yourself an opportunity to do so. So what I tell folks all the time, and you should note this, is every discipline challenge is actually a structural challenge. So if you feel like you haven't been growing and you think that's because maybe some of the things that you tried don't work or something like that, that's not the reason why you're not growing. The reason you're not growing is because you have not structured growth into your life and as a process. When you structure growth into your life as a process, the growth will happen naturally just because you are consciously setting it up to happen that way. When you consciously set it up, then it's going to happen. It's like if you want to get in better shape, well, one of the easiest things you can do to get in better shape is, first of all, sign up for a gym membership. Secondly, hire a trainer. Once you do those, is if you have a trainer, the trainer is going to say, okay, let's schedule your next session. And they're going to schedule it. So that means tomorrow at eight o'clock in the morning, they're going to be at the gym waiting for you. You know that you're going to show up and they'll tell you exactly what to do. That's a, that right there is structure. That trainer is providing structure for you. Their presence provides structure for you that you may otherwise, you might not get in shape if you were just to leave it to your own devices. Cause when the alarm clock goes off at 6:45, you know, you got to get up and get ready so you can be at the gym at eight o'clock. If you're not, if you are not committed to working out with a trainer, well, hey, you might decide to sleep in. You might say, you know, I don't feel like it. it's raining. You might say, oh, my legs hurt. I'm tired. I'm sore from yesterday's workout. And then you won't show up. Not because you don't want to get the result, but simply because there's no structure in place that is forcing you to move in ways that a structure would force you to move. That's why structure matters so much. So this is why I tell people discipline challenges are actually structural challenges. And a lot of people uh, fail in discipline simply because they're playing the game the wrong way. Right, they're just... Uh, you're playing the game kind of in a backwards way. And this is what slows a lot of people down from getting to their success. That's why this growth matters. And the more you grow as a person, the more capacity you create in space for your business to grow. You want your business to grow. You must grow. If you are not growing and you are not working on yourself. And when, work, when I say working on yourself, it does not mean you just sit around thinking about stuff. It doesn't mean watching YouTube videos or Instagram. What it means is you need to be doing things intentionally, which usually requires some form of investment so that you can get better. And usually for you to get better, you need to be pushed out of your comfort zone and you are the least qualified person to push you out of your comfort zone. That's why you get with other people who are going to force you in some way to do some things that you otherwise never would force yourself to do. That's the power of, for example, a personal trainer. What's the trainer gonna make you do? Some stuff in the gym that you wouldn't make yourself do. That's what trainers gonna do, simple as that. Trainers simply gonna make you do some stuff that you ain't wanna do. They're gonna make you take, instead of you taking you go to the gym, you take a five minute break in between sets. The trainer is going to 
take or to take a one minute break in between sets. So even when you're still tired and you don't feel like doing the next set, the trainer's like, yo, do the next set right now. The trainer is going to move you to get more done with them than you would get done by yourself. Even if the trainer doesn't introduce you to any new exercises or you no know, machines or workouts, just the fact that they're there is going to move you to do some stuff that you wouldn't do without the trainer. All right. With the trainer, you get an hour long workout in and you only take five minutes of rest. But if it was just you in the gym for an hour, you get like a little bit done and you'd be resting like half the time looking at your phone. So is the trainer worth it? Is the investment in the trainer worth it? Yes, because you get a whole lot more done in a shorter period of time. This means you bought time and you got pushed out of your comfort zone, which you would never do by yourself. So two things that never would have happened without the trainer happened with the trainer. This is the value of investing in yourself and getting the right guidance around you. I'm just using personal training as an example. This can be for any subject. This can be for business. This can be for mindset. This can be for relationships. This can be for your fitness. It can be for your nutrition and your health, what you're eating, all of those things. You want to get experts around you because they will push you outside of your comfort zone. All of you need to get out of your comfort zone in 2023 if you want to get better or whatever year you're watching this. So you could be watching this 10 years from now. The material is still relevant. If you want to get better and you're serious about getting better this year. You need to push yourself. You need to be pushed rather out of your comfort zone. Usually you cannot push yourself and keep yourself out of your comfort zone because the, our wiring as human beings. We can't push ourselves and keep ourselves out of a certain space, but for so long. This is why you get with other people who will help you do this. That's the value of it. So with that said, let me recap these three points. If I can answer a question or two, go ahead and post it in the comments now if you got a question on this. Now we're talking three daily business habits. Number one, you need to be offering people an opportunity to give you money. In other words, marketing and selling whatever you market and sell. You need to be continually letting people know that you're there and that you have this thing that they can pay for. Number two, setting up tomorrow's dollar. Your actions today need to set up tomorrow's dollar so that your business is continually set up to make money consistently, not just making money one time or making money today, but then you'll have any plans or ideas how you're going to make your money tomorrow. You don't want to be in that spot. So you want to come up with a process and a system. So you're always setting yourself up for the next opportunity, even if you don't know what the next opportunity is or will be. And number three, you got to be meeting resistance and getting past it. This is where all the growth happens and getting past resistance usually requires you doing something that is uncomfortable for you. We call that stepping outside of your comfort zone. Usually you have to be pushed outside of your comfort zone. Most people don't voluntarily walk out of it. They get pushed out of it. This is why you get experts, coaches, trainers, mentors, etc., around you because they will push you to do stuff that you would not push yourself to do. Everybody got that? So those are three business habits that you need to be following on a daily basis. Now I don't see any questions in here. So I'm going to wrap this one up. I'm about to do some recording for my work on your game masterclass. That's a show that I got comes out every day on your favorite podcasting apps. For those of you who don't know, look it up. It's called work on your game. And I will leave y'all with that. Be out of here.